For this third tutorial, we'll go ahead and move to the third thing on the toolbar, the pick. The color picker is super useful. When I'm doing these tutorials, I'm going to try to only use the features that I've shown you so far. What I usually use the color picker for, it's just a regular eyedropper, just like you might have used in other software applications. So if I want to get a really specific color from off of my photo, then you can use this, this eyedropper and just touch wherever you want. Now to make sure that I get the right one, I'm going to go ahead and use two fingers, put them on the screen, and slide them apart. That'll zoom in. That's a pretty standard feature on a lot of phones, um, at least on the iPhone. I guess I don't even know if it works for Android like that. But if you didn't know you could do that, now you do. So let's say that I wanted this uh, reddish color here. Go ahead and choose it. And what well, you can't tell because it's kind of already red up where that pick was. It'll actually change it up there at the top too. So you can see that you've actually got it. So I'll get the yellow one now. See how it changed up in the toolbar. You know that you got the yellow. And I will go ahead and choose the blue just so you can see the difference. So now it's back to blue. So since I've only used the erase and the brush tools in the tutorial so far, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the brush color. You'll see that it's changed. Uh, I want to make sure that my size is what I want it. And we'll go ahead and make the opacity a little bit smaller so you can see what that looks like. We'll be able to see through to the back a little bit. And we'll write a message. We'll say, um, um, Whoa, miss, make that a little smaller, you see you soon. Now, a reminder that you can use a stylus with this. Um, I'm just using my plain old sloppy writing from my finger. And that's basically your pick tool. I use it quite a lot for fill. And if I want to, um, well, actually, I can give you an example. I won't quit quite yet. Let's let's pick another picture. Edit a photo. I'm going to grab it from the sketchbook. Um, let's see. How about? Uh, we'll get this one of Jeff and the girls. Okay, let's say that for some reason I did not want to advertise that they were wearing Apple shirts. I don't know why. We like Apple. I don't mind advertising that. But let's say that we didn't want to. I'm going to go ahead and use my fingers to zoom up. And I'm going to find, I'm going to use my pick tool here at the top, the eyedropper. And, <coughs> excuse me, um, I'm going to go ahead and choose the green that's closest to the apple there. Go back to the brush. What's my opacity? Oh, that's, that's all right. I think I'll make it a little bit smaller. Make my opacity a little bit less, maybe. And we'll just kind of fill in where this apple is. Maybe I want to pick a little bit darker green. Go back to the brush. You'll notice that you don't actually have to click each or tap each one twice. It's really nice to be able to go back and forth. Now, typically I would use a blender on this afterwards to make sure that um, it looks as natural as possible. I'm going to change the opacity to be a little lighter on that again. Move the size up just a titch. And I'm going to start blending it here with different colors of green. Now, it's really easy if you have I don't know, a blemish on your face, or you want to take out some something or just make something look a little smoother. Using the pick and the brush is a great way to do that. We can go ahead and do it with the other apple here. And you'll see that at the end of this short tutorial how you can use the eyedropper and the brush to really change some very specific 
bits of your photos. There you go. They are no longer Apple Girls. <laughs>